So I bet you're wondering if all gaming mice are created equally. Well, unfortunately they're not. Let's find out why. Welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brian coming back to you guys today with a video on mice and input lag and is a gaming mouse beneficial for you if you're a competitive gamer. So in order to test this uh, and the reason for testing this was when I first got the SteelSeries Kana version 1 and 2 in before Christmas, this was like three months ago, I was going to do a review on this mouse. And after using it for a couple of weeks, the review was going to be pretty negative. However, before I came out with that review, I wanted to have some evidence as to say as to why this why I didn't like this particular mouse. Uh, so at Christmas time, I bought a 1000 FPS camera, and this enabled me to test this uh, particular mouse for input lag, total system input lag. And I pitted it against the Logitech G302 and Logitech G400, and I also threw in a $1 special in there. Uh, and so what I decided to do was I decided to do 10 runs in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare single player whilst looking at the floor. Uh, so I eliminated as much variance as possible. So anyway, let's get on with the results. In order to do this testing, I have to test at 1000 FPS. And this is also a simple way of me analyzing the results because one frame will essentially equal one millisecond. So I can then tally up the total frames it took from when I pressed the mouse button to when I actually will when something uh, when the pixels shift on my monitor and that'll tell me the total input lag in milliseconds. Another thing as well is there's also one thing to note as well is that my click that I'm using is pretty fast as well. Here it is in real time. So as you can see there, it's a really quick click. Uh, I measured it from when the finger stopped moving as well. So if anything, this will be faster than it will be in the real world. Uh, also, let's get on with the contenders anyway. So the first mouse here we have is a SteelSeries Kana. This came in with software on at 52.1 milliseconds, uh, total input lag over 10 runs. Without software on, it came in at 51.6 milliseconds. So it's a good thing to note that the software for the SteelSeries Kana does not make uh, virtually no difference in the real world in terms of input lag, or, or the, basically the software doesn't add any input lag to the mouse. Uh, let's look at the Logitech G302 next. Uh, with the software on, uh, it scored 44 milliseconds. Uh, with the software off, it scored a total uh, average time of 43.8 milliseconds. So the software for the Logitech G302 didn't make a difference. However, it's important to note with the G302, I was using the onboard memory, uh, not the actual software itself, because I wanted to save that for the G400. Uh, so as you can see there, there's virtually no difference. So Logitech's onboard implementation of their uh, profile features works really well and it doesn't add any uh, input lag to the total uh, for the mouse. So next up we have the G400. This was a curious contender because it doesn't have the onboard uh, memory that the G302 does and there's been a rumor going around that the G400 when you use it with the Logitech software it adds a slight delay or as I guess it adds a little bit of extra input lag. And to those people who thought that, you were correct. You, your uh, assumptions were right. So with the software on the G400, scored a total time of 52 milliseconds flat. Uh, without the software on it, scored 42.2 milliseconds. So it came in with the best time. Uh, so that's kudos to the G400. It's a great mouse, uh, especially with the software off. Very fast mouse. Uh, let's move on now to the last contender. So the last contender is just a $1 mouse I picked up from the junkyard. This thing was just, you know, I just wanted to test it as a baseline for someone, especially for people who are getting into comp uh, gaming and they're just going to use a really cheap mouse. So the cheap $1 mouse came in with 61.4 milliseconds on average. So it scored the worst out of all these mouse today. Uh, and as it should, I mean, it's a crap mouse. It's not even intended for gaming. Uh, and <laughs> something to note about this mouse Man, this thing was having problems, like the left click and the right click were kind of entangled. Uh, so whenever I clicked the right click, it would perform a left click as well. Whenever I clicked the left click, it would perform a right click. So uh, something crazy going on there. But anyway, it scored the worst. Um, anyway, let's move on now to a conclusion with all these results. So looking at these results, we can see that the Logitech mice are kind of a step ahead of this SteelSeries Kana and the $1 mouse as well. Uh, I mean, the Logitech mouse mice came in about 8 to 10 milliseconds faster than this SteelSeries Kana, which is supposedly a gaming mouse as well. Now, I know there's someone out there, what about the SteelSeries Sensei? 
Uh, and if SteelSeries are watching this, um, then please go ahead, send me a mouse, I'll test it, and then I'll give it away to my audience. Uh, same goes for Razer or Zowie or any other uh, gaming mouse manufacturer out there. Uh, but as it stands, Logitech definitely have proved their weight with this 1000 FPS testing. Uh, and also with this mouse, the SteelSeries Kana, I was going to release a negative review a few months ago. However, I didn't want to do that without evidence because I know there would have been people like, Oh man, it's all in your head. Uh, but no, it's not all in my head. And um, so basically, you know, uh, 8 or 10 milliseconds is actually quite a big deal if you're a competitive gamer, especially if you're a competitive gamer. If you're someone who just plays games casually and doesn't care at all, that's fine. But if you're someone who's a competitive gamer and you're like, Oh, it's just 8 or 10 milliseconds, it doesn't make a difference. Well, then clearly you're not a good competitive gamer, so go get good, dude. <laughs> Because, you know, 8 or 10 milliseconds at a pro level or at a competitive level does make a difference. Uh, any pro gamer will tell you that. Uh, so anyway, in conclusion, what can we say that um, all mice aren't cre are created equally? Uh, though it was good to note that the Steel Series mouse was still ahead of the $1 gaming mouse. Uh, so it was in a different, uh, it was a step up from that, which is a good thing as well. Uh, it's just it wasn't as good as the Logitech mice. And since you are paying $50 or so for a mouse like this, you do expect it to perform as good as the competitors, I think. Uh, so this was kind of lacking a little bit behind the Logitech mice. Uh, and so yeah, uh, that's about it. But also another thing, the software. So the software for the SteelSeries mice, it doesn't introduce any input delay, which was a good thing. Uh, but the software for the Logitech G400 was introducing input lag. So that was a very interesting thing. So those people were right about that. Uh, anyway. This is the beginning of the input lag arc that I've, I told you guys I'd take on at Christmas. So I was going to do this. I told you guys at Christmas on my live that I was going to embark on this input lag arc. And now I'm embarking on it. So if you enjoy this and you love, those, you love competitive gaming, then please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. And if you have any questions or comments, then go at it in the comments. I'll take a look. I'll reply as soon as I can. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Bye. Sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention in the video as well. This was done on a 60 hertz monitor. Uh, I would like to get a 144 hertz monitor in the future for more definitive results. Though these results are still accurate for what they are because I did a number of runs. Tend to be exact on each mouse. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.